Hey, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another CarX video. Today we have none other than the Nissan Silvia S15, aka the Spectre RS. Now this was one of the first cars that I had ever made a tune for on this channel and it was in dire need of an updated tune. So in today's video, that's exactly what we've done. I am going to show you what I have found to be the best tune for the Spectre RS. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. So as usual, make sure you guys have that ultimate mod and then head over into your dyno stand. Under our suspension settings, we're going to have our front spring length at 7, our rear spring length is at 9, we have our front spring stiffness at 70, with our rear spring stiffness at 55. We have our front damper fast bump at 3000, with the rear damper fast bump at 1700. Our front and our rear damper fast rebound are both set at 4,000. Our front damper bump is 5,000 with the rear damper bump being 3,000. We have our front damper rebound at 5,000 with the rear damper rebound at 4,000. We got our front toe at zero with the rear toe at 0.7, uh, 0.69. We got our front camber at negative six with our rear camber at negative two. We got the, both the front and the rear anti-roll bars both at 15. We got our caster at 4.5. Our Ackerman angle is 90% and our max steering angle is 60 degrees. Rolling over to our wheels, we got the front and the rear rim diameter at 19. We got our front tire width at 245 with our rear tire width at 270. We got our front tire pressure at 140 with our rear tire pressure at 150. We have both our front and our rear wheel adhesion at 100%. Our front wheel track is eight, the rear base is four, and we have our front and rear tire profiles both at 30%. Moving on to our engine, we are making 788 horsepower with our engine tune-up at 5%. Our max torque is going to come in at 5,500 RPM. We have the rev limiter maxed out at 9,115. Our turbocharger is on and our boost pressure is maxed out at 2.0. Switching over to our transmission, you already know it. we got that sequential transmission with our diff locking ratio of 1.0. Our final drive is 3.70. First gear is 3.0. Second gear is 2.0. Third gear, 1.7. Fourth gear, 1.35. Fifth gear, 1.0. And sixth gear is 0.70. And last, but certainly not least, you know we gotta stop, our brakes. Our brake torque is set at 2,200, our front brake bias is 75%, and our ABS, surprise, surprise, is turned off for a change, with our launch control also off. And now that you've seen the tune, you guys know the deal, let's jump into some gameplay to show you how she drives.
And as always, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more content just like this. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.